Hello friends. Today we will discuss the sectioning and development of a cone when it is cut by an auxiliary vertical plane. The cases of solid cut by vertical plane we have already discussed in earlier sessions. Now the cutting plane is auxiliary vertical plane. It is not parallel to vertical plane but inclined to vertical plane. So let us take the case of a cone. So when you place the cone in horizontal plane, then you will see a circle in the plan and a triangle in elevation. And I told you in my earlier sessions that whenever you have a conic section like cylinder or a cone, it is always advisable to divide the base into 8 or 10 equal parts. Let us divide this into 8 parts. So, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And each of these can be projected in the elevation so that you get these slant edges. So this is the vertex. So here you have one dash, two dash, eight dash. 3 dash, 7 dash, 4 dash, and 6 dash, and 5 dash. That is the elevation. Now it is cut by an auxiliary vertical plane. So draw the auxiliary vertical plane here. Let us say this is the auxiliary vertical plane which is cutting this cone at different points. Here is let us say point number A. And this, this is O, okay. And this is say B, C, D, E, and F. These are the six points A, B, C, D, E, F, where this auxiliary vertical plane will cut the solid. A is on the base one eight. B is on O one. This. C is on O2, D is on O3, this E is on O4 and F is on O5. So this point here, if you draw the elevation of this point A, it will be on the ground line, on 1, 8, on 1, 8, that is the point A. This is the point A. Let me just write here A dash. B, B is on O1 and O1 is here, the outermost. So this is the point B. This is B on O1. C is on O2. O2 is this line and therefore C will be here. D are a little later. E is on O4 and O4 is this line. So you get point E. E dash on O4 also. E dash. And F is on 4, 5. 4, 5 is the base. So you get a point on 4, 5 and this point is F. Now to draw this point D because it is perpendicular to the ground line, you need to rotate this OD and bring it parallel to ground line. Or you can say on this O5. So rotate this, rotate this OD about O and make it parallel to ground line. And now you can get this point here on O5. This is O5. And from this point, you go horizontally, you, 
to get this point as D. Because ultimately point will be at all three. And all three line is this one. So from this point which you get by rotating this plan, you rotate, you, you come parallel to ground line, you get point D on all three. Now these are five points. So join them by a R, a smooth curve, and you will get the Join all these five to six points A, B, C, D, E, F by a smooth curve so that you get the elevation of cut section. This is the elevation of cut section. But remember, this is the elevation of cut section. This is not the true shape of the cut section because true shape is reflected or projected on a plane which is parallel to this cutting plane. Now, this is the HT. Of the, of the vertical plane. So if you take a plane parallel to this HT, then only you will get a true shape of the cut section. So let us draw the true shape. Take a plane, let us say x1, y1, parallel to the auxiliary vertical plane or HT line and project all these five points here on this plane. A, B, C, D, E, and F. And take the distances of their elevation. See, A is on the ground line, so A will be here. B, B is at this height. So take this height of B here. That is B. Right? C, C is at this height, at this height from the ground line. So measure this height beyond this ground line. So this is point C. And similarly, D, D is at this height, at this height over the ground line. So take D here. D, E, E is here. So this is the height for E. Take this height here. And F is on ground line. So here it is F. F. Now you join these points through a smooth curve, you get the true shape of the cut section. This is the true shape of the cut section. That is true shape. And this is the elevation of the true shape. Right? So, when the core is cut by an auxiliary vertical plane, you just mark the points where this core is cut A, B, C, D, E, F. Plot these points in the elevation, you get the elevation of cut section. And if you want to draw the true shape of the cut section, take a plane which is parallel to this auxiliary vertical plane and project this shape here. So you get a true shape. Now for development of the later part of the solid after cutting by an auxiliary vertical plane, first step is to draw the complete development of the solid. And for that, you need to draw a R, circular R, of when it's septent and in theta here and this is 360 r upon l into 360 r the radius of the base l is the slant height of the core so this will be the length of the r length of the r this is complete development of the solid this is o this is 1 and 1. Now you divide this into 8 equal parts because you have divided the base into 8 equal parts. So say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8.
So that is the complete double opposite. Now see here point A. A is on the base. So take this A, A1. You can place the hill, A1. So A1 or 1A, 1A is measured on 1 end. So here, that is A. That is the point A. This is A. And similarly, this F, F is on 4, 5. So you measure on 4, 5. This is F. F. This point, B. B is on 4, 1. Now I told you in my earlier sessions also that when you draw the development of any solid, each line here will represent the true line. Okay? Now this O1, this B point lies on O1 and that is the outermost line O1 and therefore this is a true line. That is the true line because O1 is parallel to ground line. Okay? So that is the distance either you can take from 1 or you can take from O. That is the true line of O dash B dash. So we take this distance on O1. That is the O1. So we take this distance here. Right. That is B. Here. That is B. B dash or B. On O1, on both sides. Similarly, this point C is on O2, but O2 is not parallel to ground line. And therefore, this is not the true line. This is the point on C or on O2. And therefore, you must move parallel to ground line. And this is the true length of O dash C dash. Because this is a true length. O dash 5 dash, outer post line. Because O5 is parallel to ground line. And therefore, to determine the true length of this O dash C dash, you can draw a line parallel to ground line and get a point here on O dash I dash, and this will be the true length of O, O C. So this is on O2. So here is C. Here is C on O2. Now similarly, 3 is O3. Point D, D is here, so that is D, true level of D, TL of O D. So you measure on O3, here is the point D. E, P e is here, so that is E point, okay, from this point E dash, Again, move parallel to ground line and you get the true length. This is the true length. This is the true length of O dash T dash. So you measure true length on O4 here. Here. Let's say this point. That is T. And F is here. Join them to a smooth curve. See, this is the part which is removed. This is the part which is removed from the base. That is your A, B. And from this, you draw a smooth curve. Because, you see, 1, 2 is removed. 1, 2 is removed. So, you will draw a smooth curve here and you get the like this. This is the part which is removed by this technique. That is the point. That is the point. Development of later portion of the curve subject. So, this part is removed and this part remains intact. 
So that is how we develop a cone which is cut by a rotary vertical plane. Three steps. First, you draw the projection of the solid in the initial position, divide the planes into eight parts, draw the cutting plane, mark all these points of the plan, get their elevation in the elevation, and then join them single. To draw the true shape, take a plane parallel to this cutting plane and you get a true shape. To develop, you draw the development of the full solid first, complete solid, and then mark these points. But again, I will repeat that each point here represents the true level. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you understood the concept. You can write your questions in the comment box.